Um, and so we are just about to be able to start our halibut. Halibut is a great fish, one of my favorites. It's it's probably it's probably my favorite is too. It? Yeah. yeah, and uh, and it's that kind of changes, you know, especially when straight bass comes in a season. Yeah. It's tough, but halibut's up there. I know, yeah. I know. Pacific halibut, Atlantic. You know, I actually like them both. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be careful with where you're getting of it course. from. Um, you know, as they're regulating the fisheries, I actually like East Coast better. Yeah. I feel like it's a little bit more moist when you right, cook it, where right. the West Coast can be a just a touch. Content. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So. How do you right. select your cut of the halibut? Great question. So we actually we always get whole fish in. Oh, okay. um, so it is one of those things where you can kind of see here we have. See how it's translucent yeah, it's a little beautiful. bit? It looks mm. like a scallop. Yeah, and that's that's the way you look. Sometimes mm -hmm. you see them when they're like chalky white yeah. and you can't see them. I would stay away from that. Okay. Because usually it means it's frozen or maybe the fish wasn't treated so well when sure. they were catching it. And the whole fish you get, that's head on, everything? So the halibut, they actually take the head off okay. at sea, but for the most part, big. they are big. Yeah. yeah. And their heads actually weigh a lot, so I'm happy that they take yeah. them off so you don't have to pay for them. <laughs> sure. Um, but the rest of, of the fish that we get actually has head on. Um, mm -hmm. And it is still a flat fish, um, so you kind of treat it just like you would a flounder and it okay, has four fillets. Same yeah, yeah, same kind of thing. All right, so over here I'm getting a little bit of smoke. Um, so that means I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to come in here and season my halibut. I mm -hmm. always season one side first. Mm -hmm. um, I'll season the other side in the pan before we're ready to flip it over. You always recommend cooking something like this in cast iron? So cast iron, that's, it's kind of my workhorse. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's what I do. It holds the heat really well. Um, for the money, I don't think you can get anything better. For sure. Um, just take care of it. Yep, just take care of it. Um, all right. So now that my fish is in there, um, I'm going to wait just a minute. I have it on high. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait a minute. The, the fish actually cools down the temperature of your pan. Cast iron helps because it yeah. is so heavy. Um, so once it kind of returns to that sm smoke point, you can kind of see there's more smoke coming off of it. Mm -hmm. It's returning to the temperature. So now I can kind of turn it down a little bit. Now one of the things, you know, it's the same kind of thing with the potatoes. Um, the halibut, every time you cook a, a different piece of halibut from a different fish, mm -hmm. sometimes there's more fat in it, sometimes there's still more sugar, the protein can be different, right. more moisture. Um, so there's, you never cook a, the same piece of fish the same way twice, really. So what I want to do is I just want to flip it over. I get hot spots in my pan, so it's searing on one side better than the other. Mm -hmm. This will also tell me, see how this side is not as caramelized as that right. side? So what I'm actually going to do is just, I'll switch spots, okay? And I'm still going to kind of spin that guy around. Um, one of the things sometimes, it'll caramelize right away. Mm -hmm which means I have to turn my temperature down. Okay. This, and sometimes it takes more, higher heat, longer. Right. Um, so this is kind of cooking very nicely, so I'm just gonna kind of right. let it go at the temperature that we have. How about you wanna cook that all the way through, right? You know. Well, you know, it, it's kind of preference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we like to do a nice medium rare to medium. Oh, okay. Some people do enjoy it rare. This is sushi quality fish. You sure. can do it for sure. Do you hang on to the halibut skin at all, or do you get rid so of it? So we the... don't, but you could if you have a dehydrator. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you can dehydrate, and it actually makes really great um, chips for dogs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> some people do use some of the skin, but I'll actually use it for our dogs at home. They love it, um, and that's a little bit more time consuming, but that's what we'll do. All right, now we'll come back to our fish. Um, so basically, we're trying to cook it three quarters of the way on one side, so you get that really beautiful sear. So I'm going to come tell. in. You can see that color around the edges. Yes. So I'm going to season it now. That'll pull some of the moisture out. Um, then what I like to do is, and if you would like to grab like maybe two thyme sprigs over there, add just a little bit of butter. Now you've noticed this is the first butter that we've used. Yes, it is. This will crackle a little bit, so just be careful. I'm actually going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add a few drops of sherry vinegar. Mm. And oh, that thyme smells yeah. so good. A few drops of lemon. Lemon, nice. And then we're going to come in and flip her over. Oh, that is right. gorgeous. So it's, well done. We have a really nice seared halibut there. All right. All right, so we're going to come in. Just kind of give it a nice stir. And you see there's beautiful, beautiful colors. The lobster's there. We have the nice green of the parsley. 
beautiful. I love that you you managed to sneak a little kale in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kale is one of my favorite vegetables, yeah. and I think there's always room for a little kale if <laughs> you can. For sure. All right. So next, I'm going to grab our clams. Oh my gosh, that does yeah, smell. It does smell smoky and bacony yeah, now that you brought that really... up. Yeah. All right. So we'll drop our clams. I usually just like to kind of put them right around the outside. Do your kids eat this kind of food too? Yes, I'm very fortunate. <laughs> my my kids are uh, very very adventurous eaters. Yeah, right. good. So we're we're lucky. They love oysters. They love lobster. That's amazing. They love sweetbreads and snails. Yeah. And oh. bone marrow. <laughs> we have a bone marrow dish on the menu so. now, and and um, my wife actually sent me a video of them just sitting at the table chanting bone marrow, <laughs> <laughs> which was a little creepy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and add. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Right there. Um, I have, this is where we have a little micro radish that we can kind of sprinkle on. And just for fun, if we want to do it, we can just do a little. Why not, right? Little bonito flakes Let it dance. Around and let them dance around a little bit. Awesome. All right. They are moving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's They're alive. so fun. 